Hi, this is Vanessa with Designs by Vanessa. In this stitch tutorial, we are going to learn how to knit the anemone stitch. So it is a six round repeat, and I am going to be working this in the round, and I'll leave um, instructions on the bottom of the video for working in rows. Now the only difference um, from working in rows and in the round is that the there are four rounds of garter stitch right here between these fancy stitches so in the round you are knitting purling knitting and purling in those four rounds in rows you're actually for all four rows you're just knitting every stitch across so you want to cast on in multiples of four. So I've already worked the first six rounds. So now I'm going to have to repeat those rounds. So that's where I'm starting off. Um, remember the first four rounds will be garter stitch. Okay. So if you are interested in what type of yarn and needles I'm using, I'll leave information in the description box. And these markers are actually I made them and I have a tutorial for that. I'll leave a link if you want to make your own. Okay, so for round one, you want to knit every stitch all the way around. Okay, my last stitch, move my marker. Okay, so again, we're working garter stitches. So round two is purl every stitch around. Okay, that was my last stitch. Okay, so we're going to repeat rounds one and two again. Okay, so for round three, I'm going to knit every stitch all the way around. Okay, that was my last stitch. So for round four, I am going to purl every stitch all the way around. Okay, so my last stitch. Now that was the easy, boring part. <laughs> four rounds of garter stitches okay knit purl knit purl now this is the fun part so for the last two rounds of the six round repeat um, we're going to create these um, fancy stitches in between the garter stitches okay so now this is round five and you're going to knit one stitch and then you're going to yarn over twice. So you're going to wrap the yarn around your needle two times. Okay. So it's knit, yarn over twice. Okay, that's the repeat all the way around. Knit. And then yarn over twice. Okay. Knit yarn over twice 
Now, if you were a traditional knitter, you would knit, okay, and then just wrap your yarn around your needle twice, and then hold it in the back, and then knit your next stitch. Okay, now wrap your yarn around twice. So that's what you're going to repeat all the way around. And you'll find that um, it'll start getting tight because you're adding two stitches between every single stitch. Okay, so I just knitted a stitch, so I'm going to yarn over twice, knit the next stitch, yarn over twice, knit, yarn over twice. Okay, repeat that all the way around. Okay, here's my last stitch. Don't forget to yarn over twice before you slip your marker. So for round six, we're going to slip the first stitch and then these two yarn over stitches, you want to drop those two stitches. And then repeat that three more times. Slip, drop the two yarn over stitches, that's two. Okay, so we have two right there. This is the th third stitch that we're slipping. Drop the two yarn over stitches. And then finally, the fourth slip stitch. And then drop the two yarn over. Okay, so now what you have are these four elongated stitches on your right hand needle. You want to place these four stitches back on your left hand needle, okay? So we're going to knit these four stitches together, okay, four times. Okay, so you're going to insert your needle through all four stitches, purl, and then leaving the stitches on your left hand needle, bring your yarn in the back and knit these four stitches. Now we'll bring your yarn back to the front and purl. Bring your yarn in the back and finally this will be your last stitch knit. Okay, so what you're doing is since you're using four stitches, you need to create four more stitches to keep your stitch count. Okay, so that's the repeat all the way around. So we're going to slip one, drop the yarn over stitches, slip one, drop the yarn over stitches. And when you're slipping, you're slipping purl wise with your yarn in the back. Drop the two, so that's, that's three. So you want to slip one more, drop the two yarn over stitches. Place these four stitches back on your left hand needle. So I'm bringing my yarn forward because we're starting with a purl stitch. So in these same four stitches, you want to purl, knit, purl, knit. So four times. First is purling. Okay, insert your needle through all four. Purl, bring your yarn in the back. Knit the same four stitches, bring your yarn in the front, purl the same four stitches again, and finally bring your yarn in the back and knit these four stitches and now you can slide it off. Okay, let's do that one more time. Okay, so slip one, drop two, slip one, drop two, slip one, drop two, and then slip your last one, and drop two. So move those four slip stitches back on your left hand needle, and you want to purl, knit, purl, and knit. 
all in the same four stitches. You want to double check each time to make sure you have four stitches worked into those four loops. All right, repeat that all the way around. Okay, so repeat those six rounds until you're happy with the size. I recommend ending with um, the four rounds of garter stitches to match the bottom. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like if you did and don't forget to subscribe for future videos.